the Daisy Stitch. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. It's Knitting Lesson Monday. I have recently received a lot of requests for this stitch. It is the very pretty vintage Daisy knitting pattern, perfect for summertime. I love how the rows, they knit up with a bit of thickness and the alternating rows of the daisy flowers are just so cute and happy. This knit stitch would make a great baby blanket. What other projects do you think you would like to knit up with the daisy stitch? Let me know in the comments below. We begin by casting on in multiples of four stitches plus one. So here in my example, I have 12 plus one stitch for 13. On row one, we simply knit the entire row. Doesn't get much easier than that. Once you're near the end of row one, it's time to start row two. We begin with one knit stitch. Now we're going to bring our yarn around to the front as if to purl, which we will be. We're going to purl three together. So we put our needle into three stitches, right like that. And then we take our yarn and we wrap it around counterclockwise as if to purl and we are not going to take those stitches off the left needle. We're gonna keep them right there. So we have one stitch created. Now we're going to create a second stitch by a yarn over. Now this yarn over also goes counterclockwise. So that's the second stitch right there. Okay, great. Now we're just going to finish up the daisy stitch. We are going to insert our right needle again into those three stitches exactly the same as we did. We go ahead, wrap it around counterclockwise, purl through, and now we are able to take those three stitches on our left needle off, and we're done. So you'll see we have created three stitches of the daisy stitch on our right needle. Now we just knit one, very simple. And let's, let's do it one more time together. So we're going to put our yarn in front and we are going to take our needle and put it through the front of those three stitches on our left. Okay, we take our yarn, wrap it around counterclockwise, and we purl it through on our right needle. Now, we keep those stitches on the left needle. They stay right there. Okay, so now we're going to just do one yarn over counterclockwise like that. That's our second stitch. Again, we put our right needle into the front of those three stitches. We purl. And we are now able to take those stitches off the left needle. Yay, we've done it. So this is what it looks like when you're done with your series. You have the first knit stitch, and then the three, the one, the three, the one, the three, and then that final knit stitch. Awesome, okay, so row three, I'm changing it to the color white. You don't need to change yarn colors at all. Now, row three, very simple. You simply knit all the way across the row. And while you're knitting this row, you may want to take your time because we are knitting those yarn overs. Okay, now row four is really a repeat of row two, except the daisies will be alternating. So we're going to do knit one, purl one, and then we start our series with knit one, and we are going to do the daisy stitch. So you know the drill. We are going to put our yarn in front, and this might even be a little bit easier with the white yarn. We go ahead and we are going to purl three together right here. Okay, now remember we yarn over counterclockwise, 
we put our needle right back into those three stitches. We purl the stitch. There it is on our right needle. We get to take them off our left needle, yay! And then we knit one. Awesome, okay, now do this series all the way down the row until you get to the end. And at the end, you're just going to do an extra purl one, knit one. And here's what it looks like. Now the daisies don't look very defined. They look better once you do that next all knit row. So here's what it looks like so we can see our pretty white daisies. And so now you just continue knitting all the way the same series of four rows until your piece is the length you desire. I hope you are inspired to give the daisy stitch a try. For the written pattern, I have added a link for more information on my website and that's in the description below. Thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a new knitting lesson every Monday. And make sure to check out my other knit stitch patterns too, like my popular seed stitch and raspberry stitch patterns. Bye!